Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are talking about the AMC sell awards at $199,000, highest short interest, massive moves for AMC and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the end. Straight away, we're taking a look at this, busted, look at the 0 0.001 stink bits and $199,000 sell awards. Those aren't retail broker orders. Those are the big funds, the Vertical Trading Group, DA Davidson, William Blair and Learlink Partners and Goldman Sachs 10K spoofs. So if you take a pic, uh, look at this picture, what you guys can see right now is of course the same company who are setting bids at 0 0.001 are also setting ask at $199,999. Now, what we're seeing right now is again what people are saying which would make sense. Previously in the past, one of the price in which we've talked about in terms of what would be a normal price to buy for AMC as squeeze is of course $19,000. Now, post split, this is the same as equivalent of $19,000 and that's what we're seeing right now. Again, it's interesting that they are the same companies doing the two things. What it looks like right now is they're obviously trying to offset, they're trying to continuously push the price down, but they also note that the, pr the price in terms of which they want to buy in towards AMC seemingly looks like $199,000 right now. There's a lot of reasons why we're suddenly seeing an increase in this. And again, recently what we've seen right now is the sell-off of tech stocks, which I'll be talking about later on, is the decrease in uh, collateral. And also more importantly is of course the decrease and in terms of how much margin they have and the increase in margin requirements which makes it more difficult for firms to be holding on to amc shorts so it does seemingly look like they want to of course um, buy into amc what's also interesting is the 777 that you are seeing right here normally in terms of stock language this means to move the price up so it's interesting that we're seeing everything happening for amc right now again all of this could be coded in the message and what we can see is just random orders but when we look at it for amc there's always so many things happening and we need to make sure that we take things into consideration and take things um, with more detail and obviously pay more attention so comment down below what you guys think about this do you guys think this is the price that they want to buy out right now furthermore what we have is this 29,359,675 short interest for amc highest since reverse split and conversion three consecutive reports that it's been the highest since reverse split and conversion. So another thing that's interesting right now is obviously the short interest for AMC. But also to bear in mind is that again, what we talked about right now is obviously we have the earnings coming now for AMC, as you guys can see here. And in pre our previous video yesterday, we've shown you that again, suddenly there was an increase of 2 million shares available to borrow to short against AMC. And we've recently seen about the synthetic shares that are hidden in low case, which is being exposed by the SEC. And just of course, many other naked shorts and synthetics out there. What we're seeing right now is of course, again, the increase in terms of suppression on AMC. It seemingly looks like right now that short sellers, that hedge funds are trying to push the price of AMC down, are trying to keep the price of AMC down again. But this time, uh, in terms of different from normal, is that they're putting more power, they're spending a large amount of money again. So, you know, again, going back to what we talked about at the start, why is it that we are paying attention to this? Well, it does seem to look weird right now that with so many news indicating that AMC is going to do well, wherever it's technical, wherever it's fundamentals, wherever it's the sentimental, so all aspects right now are showing that AMC is, of course, going to do well, that we're suddenly seeing firms trying to buy back into AMC. We're seeing firms that are also trying to suppress AMC and just many more and also shorts trying to cover their position as well so it's very interesting to see all of these things happening furthermore what we can take a look at is this AMC is poised for a massive move the accumulation phase is complete with net flow volume strongly favoring the bulls during this period remember it's never about the earnings but the narrative let's see what AA has in store and so this is why we have to pay close attention firstly like I said with what we talked about earlier the technical factor in terms of accumulation phase is over everyone has been buying and investing into AMC wherever it's retail whether it's institutions we know that people want to buy into AMC but also secondly we have what is the fundamental aspect coming up now 
what you have to look out for is that in earnings, despite what it says, even if AMC were to be profitable at a very good rate, what it's likely to see is AMC still being suppressed. The reason for that isn't because investors aren't seeing any hope, isn't because investors aren't happy with the earnings. No matter what earnings we see right now, AMC will be suppressed because the hedge funds and the short sellers don't want the price of AMC to go up. So they will try to suppress the price. And that's why, you know, despite what the earnings will say, what we have to pay attention to is don't be afraid with the price movement um, when the earnings come out. It's very normal. What we have to understand is what the earning tells us. If the earnings is showing, showing us that AMC has improved drastically in terms of fundamentals, in terms of reducing the cost, increasing the profit, become um, more profitable, um, having more revenue streams, etc., etc. These are things that what we need. They don't have to affect the market price they don't have to increase amc up by one two three four five dollars we just have to know that which allows us to understand that again amc has good longevity and can amc can stay here for the long term and that's why we need to pay close attention to the earnings again just another re uh, in terms of facts about how people are buying into amc what we have is another order imbalance for AMC and again it's on the buy side meaning that there is a bigger volume in terms of buy volume than there is for sell volume now bear in mind that this has been happening constantly it isn't just for today or yesterday or just any other day there has been more buy side imbalance for AMC typically and again this just shows us that people are buying into AMC people are willing to invest into AMC and what's interesting is obviously with the buy side imbalance, we're not seeing the price reacting that much to it. And so what we have right now is again, loads of buyers at this level. Whilst it's um, bad that the price is not going up with so many buyers accumulating in, what is good is that we've built a solid foundation, meaning that we have so many buyers, it's even harder for hedge funds to try and push and manipulate the price down. And that's what we have to look out for. Furthermore, in terms of talking about yesterday, Today and why the shorts could have a even bigger um, position is what's interesting is that the securities sold not yet purchased are reported at fair value but what is the fair value when one single institution has more shares sold on their books than ever even exists if it would be theoretically impossible to repurchase that many shares is there even acceptable fair value or should they be instead required to write infinity on the liability sheet this is in re um, reply to a post that we actually talked about yesterday how goldman sachs security sold not yet purchased raised from 110 billion dollars to 250 billion dollars in one year meaning that there was an increase of over 140 billion short positions but what's even more interesting is that what we can see here is talking about at fair value meaning that the number what we can be seeing right now is actually even bigger than this and so you know when we take a look at everything that's happening with amc when we're seeing the fact that we're seeing Goldman um, trying to spoof AMC and we're seeing all these other stocks trying to push AMC and again piling onto AMC. What we have to realize is that with the price of AMC going down, with the RSI of AMC going down, and the fact that the OBV hasn't changed, it shows that the reasoning for the price of AMC going down isn't because investors are selling, but rather that shorts are piling on. The short sellers are increasing their short position. So the fact that we're seeing Goldman Sachs increase $140 billion short shows you just how much they've doubled down on this position, just shows you how much they truly have shorted at AMC. But what's even more crazy is the fact that again, it's at fair value, meaning that they could have spent way more than what we think they've spent on the short positions of AMC. And again, that is the more likely thing to be happening because of what it's happening. Furthermore, what we can take a look at is the reverse repo, $569 billion. Again, stagnating around this level. What we can see right now is also with what we talked about earlier about how shorts are trying to get out because of the margin requirements, because of the lack of collaterals. And again, the lack of money they can gain access to. So it makes sense why we're seeing um, 
the fact that we're seeing firms offering $199,000 for shares of AMC. It makes sense to why short sellers who are so deep into AMC are increasing their short position by over $140 billion because they are afraid of what's happening. They know what's going to happen in the future if they can't suppress AMC. That's why they're trying the best they can right now to make sure that they can bring the price of AMC down and even more, of course. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys next time.